For these questions, we're going to draw a strip diagram to represent each problem. And remember, a strip diagram is just a model for showing the relationship between the parts of an equation and the whole that the parts make. So let's look at number one. Here we have a division problem. So the whole in a division problem is represented by the dividend, 21. So in our whole strip, we're going to label it with 21. Now the top one is our parts strip, and I know I'm going to have seven parts because I'm dividing 21 by seven, so I'm going to draw seven parts. Okay, and the last number that I have is the unknown, what we don't know, and that's what's going to go in each box. Because in each of the seven groups, there's a certain number. In this case, it's three because three sevens make 21. So let's look and see what an addition strip diagram would look like. So in addition, there are always two parts, the two add-ins and the sum. The sum is always the whole. In this case, we don't know the sum. So for our strip, the unknown is gonna go in the whole and the two add-ins are gonna go in the parts. So we have seven and six together would make 13, which is what the answer is. So on a subtraction problem, it's gonna look really similar, except you have to remember that with subtraction, the whole goes at the beginning of the subtraction sentence. So this is the beginning of the subtraction sentence, 14, 14 minus six. So the whole is gonna be 14, and we're still gonna have two parts the parts we're taking away, and the part we have left. So one of those parts will be labeled, and the other part will be where our unknown goes. So with addition strip diagrams, the bottom is always the unknown, and with subtraction strip diagrams, the unknown is always one of the parts. So let's look at a multiplication strip diagram. So if we have multiplication, we have the whole, and then we'll have the strip that represents the parts. Well, just like in addition, in the multiplication, the product is the whole, and then we have the parts. Well, with multiplication, there's going to be a lot of parts, usually, because multiplication is repeated addition. So we're going to add and add and add and add. In this case, we're going to add the number 8 four times. So I'm going to make four spots and label each one with eight. So I want you to pay attention to how these division and multiplication strips look. See how they have several parts? And that's because division is just repeated subtraction and multiplication is just repeated addition. I want you to see how the addition and the multiplication are similar. Because addition and multiplication are related where they're getting bigger, the unknown is always the whole. And the same thing goes with the subtraction and the division. On the subtraction and the division, we know the whole and the unknown is one of the parts. So you try to make some strip diagrams yourself and if you need help, you can come back and rewatch the video. Good luck!